What's going on guys? I'm so thankful for you guys for clicking on this video. So I just want to get right on into it. I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about how to get into investing. This video is going to be for beginners. It's going to be beginner friendly. If you guys do know a little bit about investing, I highly recommend you guys stay and watch till the end of the video. I'm going to be giving you guys some details about the steps to investing. Investing starts whenever you want to start investing. So I'm going to start this by getting right into level one. Oh, she's the one, Cole. And guys, the beautiful thing about investing is that you can start from literally anywhere. About 15 to 16 years old actually, me and my brother decided that we wanted to start fixing iPhones. We're kind of like the source of income. We actually wanted to make our own business. We called it I Save iPhones. It was a terrible idea. It did not work out. But then again guys, life is about taking risks. So later, we then decided to start fixing iPhones for profit. So instead of fixing customers iPhones, we decided that we should just buy an iPhone full, like let's say uh, buy someone's cracked iPhone and sell it like that. So about 15 to 16 years old, we decided to be doing that and we made ourselves a good amount of money from that. I'm not saying it's good as, as a minimum wage job or anything. Basically what we would try to do is we would buy the phone with the cracked screen and try to replace the screen. It all starts just with your intentions. Are you willing to learn? Are you willing to understand how to how to fix this and there's all these types of videos on YouTube explaining how to fix iPhones how to fix iPhone screens how to fix iPhone speakers uh, literally anything to do with iPhones it tells you on YouTube but it is on you guys to try to understand how to fix an iPhone how to learn how to fix an iPhone go to, going on YouTube just like this iMac guys I bought this iMac for about two hundred dollars and I bought it off eBay and I had a corrupted hard drive so I was thinking all I have to do was switch out the hard drive but the reason what made it so cheap and so affordable is because the recent owner of this iMac did not know how to remove the hard drive buy another hard drive and reformat it and boot it up from there and since they did not know that they had to suffer the consequences of not having this iMac in full working condition so guys I'm not saying that the iPhones and iMacs are the only ways to make money, as in level one. There's also a different way. I highly recommend this way. I've been working this way for two years. You guys should get a job. I'm saying in high school, it is perfect. Perfect time you guys are going to college. You guys are adding up debt. You guys are starting out your lives. You guys need that source of capital. I highly recommend just working at Taco Bell, Costco. Uh, I worked at Rayleigh's actually. I was a bagger at Rayleigh's for about a year, a year and two months. And then I decided that I wanted to start working at a dealership just as a valet and start moving cars. I've been working a part-time job for about two and a half years now. I've been building up and saving this capital and trying to invest it into the stocks, into cars, and any type of way I could try to benefit my capital. So I highly recommend you for you guys, you guys starting out and investing. If you guys want to learn how to invest, you guys don't have that much capital. Highly recommend even if you guys do have that capital, as long as you have that job with you, you guys can work. And if you guys do lose that money learning how to invest, you guys also have a back. You guys aren't risking as much as if you have no income you guys have a steady job to help you invest and if you guys do get past that if you do guys if you guys are able to hold about twenty thousand dollars to your name then i highly recommend moving into level two oh. level two is where it starts getting interesting i'm also a level two investor i'm moving into stocks and cars if you guys haven't seen my other videos i'm investing in a bmw 2011 328i the bmw i bought sold for about three thousand dollars so the owner told me it has bad control arms it has a bad tire rod it's been hit from the front end and it has pillar damage true i'm investing about two thousand dollars into the car and it is a huge investment risk as going into this car because you guys could be buying a car with a blown head gasket and that's why i put into level two because it's somewhat of a risky investment if you guys do not know a lot about cars if you guys don't know how to diagnose them start learning more about cars before you guys start investing into them if you guys are car enthusiasts that is a perfect way to get in because you guys already know about cars and for example that car that i bought for three thousand dollars put about two thousand dollars into it and about i'd say like another 500 for paint so we're, we're going close around with registration about five thousand dollars in total i'm paying for the car the car is valued for about ten thousand dollars clean title with the amount of miles it has in the M Sport package that it carries. So this is a level two investment. This is why I highly recommend for you guys leaving level one to try one of these investments. So try it out and see if it'll work for you. And then also, so I put this in the level two investment is trading stocks, guys. Try to find a company that you guys like or enjoy. So understand how to day trade, understanding how to swing trade, understanding how to make a long-term investment can be really beneficial to investing in stock. And the reason why I'm saying this is because it took me about six months to learn how to paper trade. If you guys do not know what that is, 
Paper trading is investing with fake money. It's basically using like TD Ameritrade platform. It's a stock. They have a think or swim platform. That's the name of the platform. If you guys want to go check it out, I uh, highly recommend gives you all types of indicators. I don't want to take too much of your guys' time. If you guys do know about stocks, you guys already know. And if you guys don't, then you guys, I highly recommend go check out some of my videos. Go check out other people's videos on how to invest in stocks. It's all over YouTube. Videos about day trading, swing trading, long-term investments. You guys don't have to pay for courses. It's all on YouTube. You guys just need to go look for it. Understanding how to use indicators, understanding volume, and understanding the value of stocks. It's all on YouTube. You guys just have to go check it out. And ending on that note, we are done with level two. Those are kind of like the, the, the moderate to mediocre investments. These are the safest investments, investments that you don't need as much capital for. And now moving into level three. All right, guys, level three, I haven't reached there yet. I plan to reach it within the next couple of years, but level three is where it's at. Now in level three investing, the reason why I didn't put in level two is because I think it's extremely riskful if you guys do not have the right capital for it. Now guys, this all just depends on the amount of capital you have. Some people are more aggressive with less capital. Some people are more safe with more capital. It all just depends on the type of person you are. The reason why I put this in level three for real estate is because there's so much to do with understanding cash flow, understanding property taxes, understanding how much mortgage you're getting, understanding the interest rates. It's just so much to get into with not enough capital. Many people think that they can invest in real estate with like 5% down and have another friend invest 5% down and then you guys start renting out the house and you guys are both paying for its mortgage and you guys are thinking it's gonna it's gonna pay it off soon like five years but the reason why I just it doesn't click in my mind is because anything can happen in five years let's say your partner that you went 50 50 with now uh, is having family issues cannot pay off the house and now you have to start taking over the mortgage and now you can't pay off the mortgage and now you're gonna have to give the house back to the bank it's just not okay relying on someone else and even though you try to tackle on a house yourself and then you realize there's just too much charges the cash flow is not enough to pay for the mortgage and now you're paying out of pocket for it now you understand that you need to work for the house to try to pay it off and and it's just too much to think about putting in the level two investment so that's why i moved over to level three and i actually carried on something from level two that also needs to be there over into level three i do highly believe that stock is a level three investment it just depends on the amount of capital you have how much you're willing to invest in the company because there's some people that have made a stable income that are consistent day traders in the stock market. People like Ricky Gutierrez and the, their Tech Bus Solutions team have made a very successful day trades and they're staying consistent and they're showing us profits. And the main reason why I wanted to put as a level three investment is because there's people that invest in the stock market with little as $100, little as $50, just trying to understand it, trying to get the rhythm of it. And that's totally fine, that's totally acceptable. That's how everyone should begin, just investing a low amount, trying to get used to the rhythm of stock and try to paper trade first before you guys dump a lot of money into stocks. For example, as a level two stock investor you guys want to put like let's say like two thousand five thousand down you guys are, let's say like a level two you guys are understanding you guys may go long you guys might try to put a long-term investment with let's say like disneyland or they're, they're building a new theme park or w w whatever is going on you guys just want to go long and uh buy shares and hopefully it will grow in the future and that's your type of investment that's what you want to make and you guys are going to make let's say like 20 percent back hopefully that's your aim that's your target and once you pull it back you have that thousand in your pocket you guys are able to save that and that's a level two investment that's something that over over the next couple of months will happen over the next year will happen and that's a level two investment but but the reason why i wanted to put a level three is because there is these there's day traders such as myself i'm trying to learn how to day trade you make it a source of income you understand how to you understand all the indicators you understand macd you understand rsi you understand vwap and you guys begin to understand all these types of methods of investing but day trading does involve a hefty amount if you guys want to start i do recommend you guys have to have a good enough capital instead of going like penny stock make money quick that it never ends well don't go for it i've had my share of dues trying to trying to go for penny stocks it does not work out it's like 98 percent failure two percent success it's just not going to work out for you guys that's why i recommend going in with a lot of capital going safe investments studying about them understanding the reports and what the company is going through so if you guys did enjoy this video smash that like button comment down below what you think i want to know what you guys think and i know there's plenty more ways to invest your money there's plenty more ways you can grow your capital i understand that fully understand but i just want to make this a simple simple little beginner's guide for for new investors entering the market and that's going to be the end of it peace out i love you guys so much